But the Bible says, even though we may blow it every day, God's mercy is fresh for us every morning. What most people perceive as energy is really strength of spirit. It comes from the joy of knowing God, loving Him, and being loved by Him. Trust takes one second to lose and a lifetime to rebuild. If you settle for what you've got, you deserve what you get. I'm not a fan of religion. Religion ties people up and binds them and puts them back in chains but faith, true relationship, releases us to be all what God ever intended us to be. That's what I'm interested in. No wonder women have achieved a more equal footing with men in areas they never fought for ulcers, hypertension, and heart attacks. We're racing around trying to be all things to all people, burdened by a brutal mix of ambition, anxiety, and guilt. A fear of the unknown keeps a lot of people from leaving bad situations. I think sometimes the very reason we go through something is so that we can be empathetic with another person later on. I'm postmenopausal. I have nothing but time. Postmenopausal do not sleep. You obviously don't know one. We get about three hours of sleep a night and the rest of the time we have to do something productive with our time. Love someone too much to help them prevent making a mistake. When you fall in love, you must fall in love with a man the way he is now, because marriage won't change anything, except maybe your tax deduction. Humility plus humor equals humanity. On Regis Philbin Happy Smiley he's like everybody's kid brother with his hand in the cookie jar and his foot in his mouth. You love him, but you can't take him anywhere. I was told all my life I was part Cherokee. Then it was Crow. The latest is Blackfoot. Today we live in a cash for trash world. Anyone can stand up and say anything unkind, unfair, or completely untrue about you, and then they are rewarded financially for it. Because life is unfair. Other kids did drugs, I did crafts. I never knew where I fit in. Miracles is the sort of book that once you've read it you'll wonder where it's been all your life. God didn't bless me with success so I could eat caviar every day. I like sitting in the dark and watching people far more talented than I'll ever be sing my songs and say my words. It's thrilling. I think when you've gone through a betrayal in life then when somebody's been betrayed you can talk to the person about it. If your husband's been unfaithful to you, you know what that's like, you know how that feels. You can share true empathy with someone. It's no secret that I love to talk, but the real secret is I love to listen, too. People may be in awe of perfection, but they warm to humanity. I have empathy for the person who is being interviewed and written about with all kinds of misperceptions and misconceptions and flat-out lies. So I feel for them, I feel their pain. I know what that is like. I wasn't ever interested in marrying someone else's career or bank account. I change my hairstyle every day for the show, I'm fastidious and vain about my nails and teeth and grooming and makeup, but a perfect body, forget it. Dust to dust, wuggies to wuggies. I sang with Anita Bryant in the Southern Baptist churches. Just because I'm happy doesn't mean I'm shallow. A two-career couple with children is a complex, sensitive piece of machinery with lots of moving parts. Anything less than total cooperation will throw it out of whack and shut it down. A couple can wind up paying the ultimate price for trying to have it all, losing it all. They don't call me spontaneous and irreverent for nothing. I did feel from day one that I was a born performer. 
For every sleazeball in the business there are plenty of decent and wonderful people. If I could learn to treat triumph and disaster the same, then I would find bliss. I don't believe in coincidence. I just think that all things work together for good. Love in the real world means saying you're sorry ten times a day. The payoffs in showbiz seemed as random as a slot machine. 24 hours is never enough for a busy person and way too much for somebody with nothing to do. There was no way we'd ever get spoiled. Daddy made sure to instill in us a work ethic. For many people religion can be so easy they stumble right over it. Life seemed so simple and joyous when I was growing up. Over the years my mom has become a self-taught biblical scholar. People were referring to me as the new Anita Bryant. Anita would get a little jealous. We heard stories about fakery and decoys at revivals. I never personally saw any trickery. To me an audition is 30 crazed people in a room waiting to be axed. I would never want to hurt anyone by writing a book. I once said the Queen of England could use some fashion advice. If you can do something with your eyes closed, it is time to try something new. I want to be free and free indeed and live and live abundant. To this day I do not believe I'm great at anything. We're imperfect people trapped in an imperfect world until we get to that place beyond. Our culture is in moral chaos. On TV we celebrate freaks instead of honest, decent people. I hate politics, hate deals, and deal making, hate meeting with attorneys and agents. When I was almost 13 I was ripe for religion. I was actually just plain ripe. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.